What is up, PokeFam Nation? It is Friday, and you know every single Friday we come here to the store and we look for those hidden Pokemon cards. You know, the booster packs that people have hidden on purpose or they're simply just out of place or they're not where they should be. Those are the booster packs we want, and those are the only booster packs that we can buy. And I've been, I've been sleeping here a little bit. I've been sleeping here a little bit. And it's midnight, and we're actually doing a midnight hidden Pokemon card hunt. So I got to get out of my little bed right here. I got to get out of my bed. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. I feel like I've been sleeping there for hours. Okay. All right. Now I got to find the Pokemon card section so we can hunt for some hidden Pokemon booster packs. Let's do it. All right, guys. What is up? We are here in the toy section at Walmart and you can see it is a huge mess, but I'm much to my surprise. It is very actually very well stocked for being very close to Christmas after Christmas at least. So let's just kind of go through and see what they have back here. Just looking at it, it looks like they don't have a whole lot of stuff, but they do have, they do have some of the tins right here. We got the Mewtwo EX. We have the Blastoise tin, which we opened up last week and had two ultra rare pulls from this tin. That was absolutely insane. So I'm just going to kind of look through. We have some blisters right here. We just got to find some booster packs that are not where they should be. Maybe they're hidden. Maybe they're out of place or they're simply just not where they should be. Those are the booster packs we want and those are the booster packs we got to get. Roblox guys. I know, I know a bunch of you guys like Roblox and it looks like I've never actually seen any of these before. I don't know much about Roblox, but I don't feel like I've ever seen these when I've looked back in the section. Looks like we have some kind of Pokemon sheet right there. Um, all right, let's kind of go through down here and see if there's anything. Anything back here? Nope, I'm not seeing anything. All right, no. Nope. All right, let's go down here and look deep in the depths of all the little plushies. Oh, look at this. We have a Jolteon right here from the Pokemon Center. A nice little Pokemon Center plushie. Uh, we have a Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet. Okay. Okay, enough kidding around. We gotta find some Pokemon cards. And there's something there that is making sounds. We, what is this? Grocery gang. All right, let's look down here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff down here. Guys, $24.97. I have not seen anybody buy these. A starter deck, two booster packs, and a promo card for $24. You tell me if you think it's worth it. Let me know in the comment section down below. I personally, I don't like them. You got Pikachu, you got Mewtwo, and you got uh, Volcanion right there. I, I would not buy those, to be honest with you. All right, let's look behind here, see if there's anything. Anything in doubt? Anything? Anything? We have... What is this? Oh my goodness! Plants versus zombies! All right, continuing the search, continuing the search. Oh, I think everything's gonna fall over. I always clean up my messes. Whenever you search for hidden Pokemon cards, always please make sure you clean up your messes. I'm not seeing a whole lot of stuff. Let's look further down here. Further down here. Oh, look at this. So sad. So sad. Oh, I just want to take the Pikachu and the, the little Salandit home with me. Oh, oh, hopefully it finds a good home, but it's not going to be with me, unfortunately. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, oh, what do we have right here? We have one of the Guardians Rising and Steam Siege two-pack blisters with the three promos right there. I think it is the exact same one that's right here, so it is simply just out of place. So that is something we can get. We found our very first thing for the Hidden Pokemon Booster Pack Friday series. Our very first thing that we can get. Um, it is $9.98. We get two booster packs. I'm going to go ahead and get it. We'll give away these three promos to you guys. And um, you know what? I think I think we kind of looked everywhere we could back here. We can kind of, you know what? You know what? something that we don't usually do? Oh, we got to look. We got to look underneath the shelf. We got to look underneath the shelf. Is there anything down there? There's someone over there making a lot of noise, and I see what appears to be a scorpion. I do not see anything else, though. I do not see anything else. All right, guys, we're going to do something that we hardly ever do. Let, let's just start looking down the toy aisle. Come on, come on, come on. Let's look down the toy aisle, and we'll just kind of see if there's anything, if there's just anything sitting here. We're not going to, like, look too far into things, but let's just see if we can find anything sitting along the shelves we have some wwe action figures right here um i'm not seeing a whole lot of teenage mutant ninja turtles we got power rangers uh we got marvel over here okay guys okay i don't think they have anything else let's go ahead and head up to the very front of the store yes the very front of the store where they keep all the good stuff all the good pokemon cards let's go to the front of the store let's do it all right guys so we are at the front of the store in the pokemon card section and we're going to try to do a nice little quick look through here we're also going to go to another store after we're done here um but they are checking out right behind us so it's a little bit awkward with people staring and trying to do this at the same time but i don't care i don't care we're doing it anyway here we go 
here we go. Um, looking through, looking through what we got up here. Nothing, nothing back there. We do have a lot of tins, which I'm still surprised there's a lot of them since it was just Christmas time. I figured these would have been bought up really, really fast. Anything back here? There is, oh, look at that bank right there. Uh, bank, a Pokeball bank. They don't have any older tins. Uh, that'd be cool if they had some older ones. Love that lunchbox. A lot of you have said that this is not worth the $100 price. Um, and I know some of you said it was worth it too. I think it all just depends on um, if you play the game or if you just collect really. Um, I don't know, $100. I don't know if I would spend $100 on it to be honest with you. Anything, anything up here. We got some older pen collections right here, or some pens. We got some Mega Mewtwo's. We have some Tyranitars, Moltres. Um, oh, there is a bunch of like Roaring Skies back here. Oh, this is their stockpile, their secret stockpile. All right, let's keep going, keep going down the line here. Bunch of starter decks. Um, anything? No, no. We got some nice evolutions. Out of all three of these evolution, evolutions, which one's your favorite? Jolteon, Vaporeon, Flareon. I think. I think I want to have to go with Jolteon. Not, not my favorite evolution overall, but out of those three. Definitely my favorite. Um, Deli Birds has been blowing up in Pokemon Go lately. We got some pin collections. We, oh, oh my goodness. I do have, there is a Crimson Invasion booster pack sitting right here. It's not where it should be, so we're going to get it. We are going to get it. Let's just kind of keep looking through here. Uh, nothing back there. Nothing back there at all. Anything underneath the Team Skull? No, nothing underneath the Team Skull. Why would there be? Anything back there? Nope. No. All right, let's go down another level. We got the power cubes, and you guys know all about the power cubes. We have voiced our opinion about the power cubes, and we unfortunately do not like the power cubes. All right, let's go down here. It looks like these were probably not too big of a hit for, for the holiday season. Oh, oh, look at this. Right back here, there is a booster pack. There is, oh, oh, dang, there is a bunch of stuff back here. There is an Ancient Origins. There is some Pokemon cards, and I feel like this is a sign, a fidget spinner right here. Oh, wow. Let's go ahead and get this Ancient Origins right here. So we got a Crimson Invasion, an Ancient Origins. We got that other two-pack blister as well. Let's make sure that there is nothing over here. There is nothing right there. There is nothing back here either, is there? Um, no. No, there is. Oh, there is. There's a Pokemon card. What is it? An Electric. An Electric. Right back there. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and look underneath the shelf. Let's go ahead and look underneath the shelf. Oh, I'm putting my hand in front of the camera. Anything down there? Nothing. Nothing. I don't see anything. I see some plushies down there, but that is about it. I don't know. I don't know. Just... Oh, there is a. What's this? Oh, Phantom Forces right here. I guess that was just. I guess that was just underneath it. That's the expensive one, though. I don't want to buy that. Um, there is a Tapu Coco GX, a shiny Tapu Coco GX. You know what, guys? You know what? It's 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 a fun time of the year. We have fun. This is one of our favorite series we do here on the channel. I think we go ahead and get this shiny Tapu Coco GX box. Have ourselves a nice Pokemon card haul today here at Walmart. All right. Anything? Anything there? Nope. Anything behind all of the magic stuff or underneath the binders? Ugh. Oh, this might be hard to. Can you see anything back there? Anything back there at all? No. No, nothing back there at all. All right, guys. All right. Oh, let's let's check. Let's check here in the plushies. So sometimes you gotta check in the plushies. Oh, and another spot that we forgot to check is the comic books. Always check between the comic books to see if there is anything. Let me set this right here to see if there's anything between the comics because sometimes we have found stuff in between the comic books but i am not seeing anything today unfortunately all right all right guys okay we are going to head over to another store and hopefully we can do some filming there as well and maybe find a couple more things we have the shiny tapu coco gx box we have some ancient origins and we have some crimson invasion guys it's going to be a nice pokemon card haul today let's go to the other store we'll head home and then oh what we'll also give this away too we're gonna there's gonna be a lot of stuff to give away today guys we're gonna go to the other store we're gonna go home open this up we're gonna have so much fun guys let's go home no let's go to the other store and then go home and then open it up let's do it
Guys, it's so cold outside. We're at Meyer now. Boom, okay guys, we are here at Meyer, and they have a little bit of a messy section going on right now. So we, we, we're probably not gonna buy anything here unless we find something like super, super cool that we just gotta have. So let's go ahead and start looking right now and see if we can find anything out of place hidden or not where it should be. We have right there this pick a -Pack promo blister pack that GameStop had for 99 cents. So spending what, like almost $6 on one just seems Seems like it's not worth it anymore. We have the nice little 50 cards and one foil card inside. Looks like someone tried to, uh, looks like someone tried to look inside there. Can we see anything? Can we see anything? What's inside there? I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna open it up any further. All right. If you guys could tell what card that was, let me know in the comment section down below. All right. What do we have back here? We have some magic, some magic right there. Uh, a nice wide open spaces, a Fates Collide starter deck. We have a Primal Clash booster pack right here, some Roaring Skies, some Fates Collide, Phantom Forces. You know, you guys know Phantom Forces is one of my favorite sets of all time. And it is midnight right now, so they are currently stocking the shelves, um, trying to, you know, I don't think they're gonna stock with any Pokemon cards, but you know, um, we're trying to film while they're stocking the shelves. Hopefully they don't mind. All right, more, wow, we're seeing a lot of these starter decks. Uh, Tapu Coco pins that GameStop also had for what, $3, guys? And what do we have back here? Oh my goodness, some Tonka trucks built to last. Tonka trucks. Okay, um, looks like someone had a frenzy with some baseball cards right that, back there. And you can see the, the packaging right back there. Oh, guys, guys, people will never learn. Star Wars, did you guys like the new Star Wars movie? Um, anything back here? Um, we have opened up one of these lately on the channel. Uh, anything? Oh, let's look behind. Look behind all these boxes. What do we have back here? We have whatever this is. This is an air freshener and a football card. All right, continuing on, continuing our search. Oh, what do we have here? This is a Five Nights at Freddy's Umbreon box. You know what? I really, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to open up one of these. We can't buy it because it's not it's not in a hidden a hidden spot, but I really really kind of want to open up one. And if they had the Espeon one too, I'd want to open up that one really bad, but I like the Umbreon more than the Espeon. That's just my that's just my opinion. All right, guys, continuing onwards, continuing on our adventure. That is just that's weird. That's that's definitely weird. Um, we have a Burning Shadows. We can't buy that because there's nothing in it. Um, I'm going to clean up my mess here. Uh, anything behind these Magirna? No. Mega Powers that we're actually going to be opening up here very soon on the channel. I have a Mega Powers box at home. Let's check between all of these binders. Just the, just this image right here. This uh, what image of them? The Ultra Prism set in February. It gets me so, so amped up. Um, I'm not seeing anything else, guys. We have a nice big haul to open up when we get back home. So let's go ahead, head back home while I'm still hunting. I can't stop because I just love hunting for the hidden cards. All right, guys, I'm gonna check one more spot. Anything back here? Nothing back there. All right. All right, guys, let's go ahead. Ugh. Let's go ahead, head back home, open up all that awesome stuff. We'll give away the promos to you guys because you rock. <sighs> okay guys, let's head home. Let's do it. So PokeFam Nation, we are back here at home and it's time to open up all of our awesome Pokemon stuff that we just got while looking for the hidden Pokemon cards at the store. We got this two pack blister right here with the Entei, the Raikou and the Suicune promos. We have a Crimson Invasion booster pack. We have an Ancient Origins booster pack. And then we have, oh, check this out. We have the shiny Tapu Koko box right here. We're gonna give away all these promos to you guys because you deserve them. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna unbox everything right now and then we can get straight into opening up all these booster packs. Okay, so we have everything finally unboxed. Let's go through what we got here. We have the Tapu Coco GX promo that we're gonna give away to you guys here in just a minute. We have the code card. Let me give away that code card to you guys right there. We, of course, we always give away the code cards in every single video because you guys deserve it because you are awesome. And then here is all the booster packs that came inside of that. We have a Steam Siege, a Guardians Rising, another Guardians Rising, and then a Sun and Moon base set. 
And then going on down the line, we have our two-pack blister with the Raikou, the Entei, and the Suicune right there. These actually are not promos. They are just reprints with a different hollow foil pattern right here. As you can see, we'll uh, throw that in with the Tapu Koko GX promo. And then we got a Steam Siege and a Guardians Rising inside of that. And then right down here, Sun and Moon, Crimson Innovation, and Ancient Origins. Of course, guys... All you have to do to win this right here is, of course, be a subscriber. And then the comment section down below, just tell me, just tell me your New Year's resolution because this is the last video before 2018. Guys, it's been a great year. So tell me your New Year's resolution down in the comment section down below. Then tune in on January 1st to see if you are a winner of this stuff. And of course, whenever you enter a giveaway, uh, please make sure that you have your guardian's permission to do so. And especially if you're claiming a giveaway too, please make sure you have your guardian's permission as well for that. Okay, guys. Okay. Enough of everything. We got to get down to opening up these booster packs. And then the jumbo card right there if you're interested in seeing that jumbo card. Goodness everywhere. And then the coin. Guys, I just want to open up these booster packs because I'm super excited. It's the last hidden Pokemon card video of 2017. Of course, we'll continue it in 2018. And then, all right, all right. We have trash right here. Throw trash on the ground. World Tour, the very last stop for the World Tour of 2017. Throw trash on the ground. World Tour 2017. All right, I can't wait to see what the Hidden Card Series brings us in 2018. I'm very excited. Here's a code card for you right there. Claim it and pull something amazing. All right, one, two, three. I got so excited. I didn't even see what booster we threw on the ground. What booster was it? It was a Sun and Moon base set. Okay. All right. So we got to do four cards instead of three. Here we go, guys. I'm just so excited. We have a uh, Bond Suite, a Psyduck. I want to put this in my Psyduck farm right over here. I want to start a Psyduck farm. Just you wait. Just you wait. We have a Litten, a Cosmog, a Rog and Rolla, an Energy. Let me file that away in my Energy filing cabinet right back there. We have a nice little jelly filled donut, a Brion, a Croco Rock. An energy switch, reverse hollow, and then our rare is going to a two cannon. All right, let's head on down to Guardians Rising. Love the Guardians Rising set. A lot of great playable cards in it, but there's also one very, very not so good thing in it. Oracorios. We do not like Oracorios here on this channel. If you watched yesterday's video, we were invaded by Oracorios. I am not even kidding. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two. Guys. It was super hard to film today's video. We went at midnight. Around midnight, we were filming, and I thought for sure there would not be a whole lot of people in there, so we'd have a lot of the store to film and do stuff, but there was actually still a crazy amount of people in there shopping at midnight. So we have Snorunt, a Murkrow, a Salandit, but that didn't stop us. We're the PokeFam Nation. We got to film. We got to do our hidden Pokemon card series. Of course, have fun with it. Rock Ruff. Delibird, an Energy, a Glalie, a Machoke, an Energy Lotto, a Reverse Hollow Fletchling. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. We have a Coma O, GX, Hyper Rare, Rainbow Rare, whatever you want to call it. This is a phenomenal pull to end out 2018 or 2017 going into 2018. Pulling a Hyper Rare, Rainbow Rare, Coma O, 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 O. GX right there. I actually think this might be my first Hyper Rare Coma O O GX. Wow, that is such a beautiful card. I just love, love that they started doing these types of Ultra Rares. Wow, okay, so we already have a great pull, and we're just two booster packs in. Going into Guardians Rising next. This is all from our shiny Tapu Coco box. Here is another code card right there. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. We have an Alolan Geodude. I know someone commented in yesterday's video that they were tired of pulling Geodudes in their booster packs. Mudbray, Alolan Sandshrew, Cottony, Bellsprout, Energy, Alolan Graveler, a Max Potion, a Sableye, a Reverse Hollow, Alamala. Lala mala, lala mala. And then a Lilligant right there. I always like pronouncing that a different way every single time. Because it's just a such it's such a crazy name. And I don't think I'll ever pronounce it the right way because it's more fun saying it that way. Alright, Steam Siege is the last booster pack from the Shiny Tapu Coco. And another code card right there for you guys. We gotta do three instead of four. Here we go. We have a Larvesta, a Fletchling, an Oshawott, a Sneasel at Chew, C Dot, a Halucha, 
and we have a Tangrowth, and uh, uh, look at that. Look at that monkey right there, just chilling on the tree branch, having a nice relaxing day, probably in the sun, and I'm over here in negative five degree weather. A uh, Rufflet and a Nido King right there. Rufflet's a bird, and what do birds do? Birds gotta fly, birds gotta fly, and I'm also tossing my other birds on the ground. That was actually, that was actually a Fletchling that fell on the ground too, so we gotta, we gotta throw that Fletchling, because birds can fly. All right, going on to Steam Siege. All kinds of craziness. Last video of 2017 before we hit 2018, so we just gotta get crazy, guys. We gotta get crazy. All right, there's the code card right there. All right, one, two, three, one, two. Here we go. We have a Tangula, a Rufflet, Flyaway Birds, Flyaway. We have an Oshawott, um, a Ponyta, a Fletchlander, Flybirds, Fly, Shield on. A special energy, a reverse holo, Mankey, and then a Hoopa. Hoopa strong. That was my favorite part. If you ever saw the Hoopa movie, that's my favorite part right there is when he goes, Hoopa strong. All right. Guys, guys, I, I just, I, I love me I love me some Hoopa movie. What can I say? What can I say? There we go. We have Guardians Rising, Code Card. I always, I do that impression so much. I, I, I don't know if I do it a whole lot here on the channel, but... Whenever I see a hoopa when I'm out in the store, or if I just randomly see a picture of a hoopa, I always say hoopa strong. All right, Cottony, Alolan Sandshrew, Mudbray, Alolan Geodude, Machop. It's not the one doing the dab, but still cool. Energy, Fletchlander, Birds Fly, Alolan Graveler, an Altar. Oh, Reverse Hollow, we're not saying it again. And then a Hollow Victini. I know we have a subscriber, a Pokefam Nation member that has Victini as their. Uh, as their profile picture and they are obsessed with Victini. So I pulled that and I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you, buddy. All right, here we go. We have our very last two booster packs, Ancient Origin and Crimson Invasion. I'm not gonna look which one we're doing. Not looking, not looking. We are going to do, boom, that order right there. Crimson Invasion and then Ancient Origins. Throw trash on the ground, World Tour, 2017. All right, can we get another ultra rare pull? Code card. We gotta do four and then two. Here we go, guys. Here we go. We have a Numel, a Mencino, a Misdrevious, a Lolan Geodude, a Pikachu, a P Pikachu, an Energy, a Laron, a Psychic, a Memory, a Mawile, a Reverse Elo Shellment, and then we have a Camerupt as our rare. So our pulls have actually not been like crazy bad, but you know what? We got we did get that hyper rare, so they're not crazy crazy good we could have gotten another ultra rare that's all i'm saying we could have gotten two ultra rares but we do have one booster pack left one booster pack left ancient origins the last booster pack on this channel for 2017 2018 is going to be phenomenal there's gonna be so much great stuff i have a lot of surprises in store for you guys a lot of a lot of projects i'm working on i'm just so excited so thank you guys so much for always supporting the channel coming and watching every single video, hitting the like button, telling your friends about it, commenting down below, telling your cousin Tommy who works down at the Burger King. Thank you for spreading the word on this channel. I can't thank you guys enough. All right, Ancient Origins. We'll look at the code card at the very end. Here we go. Three and then two. We have a Persian, a Golurk, a Relicanth, a Cockney, an Eevee. We all love some Eevee in our life. Hex Maniac, a Whimsicott, an Energy Recycler, a Reverse Hollow Sceptile Spirit Link, and then the last one is a Porygon Z. A Porygon Z. Well, Z is the last letter of the alphabet, and this is our last video of 2017. And here's the code card right there. So I guess that makes sense. That guess, I guess that makes sense. We'll take a look at all of the cool stuff that we ended up getting. There is the non-Reverse Hollows that I ended up not throwing. And here is all of our rare stuff right here guys let's take a look at it we have a two cannon a porygon z a camera a hollow victini a hoopa hoopa strong a needle king a lilligant and then we have our hyper rare rainbow rare coma oh 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 gx right there a very cool looking card i'm glad that we could end the year 2017 with getting a great pull and guys, I seriously just want to say thank you so much for all your support through 2017. We're going to keep going strong into 2018, forward and onwards. We're going to keep growing our PokeFam Nation. Thank you, everybody, for coming here every single day and just showing your love, not only for me, but for other PokeFam Nation members and Pokemon fans. 
I thank you all so much, and I love you all from the bottom of my heart. I sincerely, 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 times a million, love all of you guys. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more fun Pokemon videos such as this one, why don't you go ahead and consider smashing that subscribe button, become part of our PokeFam Nation, one of the coolest, most fun, and positive Pokemon communities here on YouTube. I want all of you awesome people to be a part of it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Poke Fam Nation, that is it for today's video. I had a blast hanging out with all of you awesome people. So make sure you come back for the next video so we can hang out some more. And in the meantime, check out some of the previous videos like you see on the side of your screen right over here. We got yesterday's video with fellow Pokemon YouTuber, Leon Hart. And then right here, if you want to catch up on the Hidden Pokemon Card series, here is the playlist. Lots of fun adventures that we had this year. And there's going to be many, many more fun adventures for 2018. Guys, I had a blast. I had a blast in today's video, and I can't thank you all enough for your love and support. Hope you have a safe and fun New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and I will see all of you, all of you on January 1st. Guys, have an awesome day. Peace, love, and a high five.